Good morning, folks. It's podcast day, and I'm excited for it, but we've got action on our star at Volcanoes from the world of geochemistry and out into deep space. Let's get started, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, and the last 24 hours was not as calm as we've been getting used to. Just like this time last year, the sun has begun to increase sunspot and filament activity. Let's begin with the spots. That little grouping remains small and undeveloped, heading for the limb, but to its north, a completely different story. This grouping is only one day old. It's spreading fast and luckily is going to be departing Earth-facing position tonight as it has shown magnetic beta class with large cores and its umbral magnetic fields quickly overtook those to its south. Solar flaring is slowly ticking upward and we'll be watching that closely today. Filaments have begun to erupt as well. Large one harmlessly let go on the southeast here, which is indicative of greater electric action at the stellar surface. Solar watch is elevating as we're anxiously awaiting coronal hole and Earth's conflating through solar wind excited more. Edgar Allan Pop goes Etna. You probably heard that Italy's most exciting mountain, which is slowly sliding into the sea, has erupted again. But it was joined by a far scarier situation in Papua New Guinea, where a few thousand people have had to be evacuated. Let's go to the science. New study suggesting that the volatile organic compounds, which are aerosol cooling factors, are being eaten by microorganisms in the permafrost before they can get into the atmosphere. This will change, however, if any acceleration of melting occurs and water logging takes place, in which case a fervent release of those VOCs will also take place. Couple quick notes. A student at Case Western noticed an odd smudge and began searching for other wavelength views of that part of the heavens. It is now officially known to be the faintest and sparsest galactic-level gas-rich object known. His first week of work study on the project. I'll leave you with some gorgeous shots of NGC 3918, a planetary nebula that we keep going back to every time we upgrade a satellite, and with good reason. Hubble's shot of the day was indeed this future home of worlds. Folks, good news is that international orders are now open. You do get the same discount on the book price, but... Shipping internationally is brutal, and that's the bad news. It is the last week here to pre-order. The textbook is going out almost 40% higher in September, and you guys are the only ones who get the discount. Free shipping remains in the USA this week as well. On today's podcast, we're going to be discussing why we're looking way ahead to Grand Solar Minimum, but down at our toes for something else. Big earthquakes have been happening, fast pole reversal news came out, and more all coming on fly on the wall in just a few hours. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 4.30 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.